What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with another black and white battle. And uh, gotta say, yesterday was a great day if you're a hockey fan, especially if you're a Finnish hockey fan, because we beat Sweden and the final score was 6 1. Absolutely beautiful. Ihana Leijonat, Ihana. Anyways, uh, yeah, got a match here against uh, someone by the name of Skymin. And uh, also, there was a Pokemon Speed upload on last Friday, Friday the 13th. If you haven't seen that yet, go watch it after the battle. I will leave a link to the description and possibly an, an annotation or something like that. But yeah, let's start this match. I lead off with Mew, he leads off with a uh, Fjordum. And you're gonna go with the obvious uh, Draco Meteor, right? Yeah. And uh, will the Draco Meteor KO? Probably not. And yeah. You are right, Kirim. And why is that? Because I suck? Yes, you do kinda suck. That is true. You may have some raw power, but uh, it's still not quite enough. That is quite sad. And now you're gonna go. Bye. Bye! And there goes Kirim. And um, also after the match I got some important update stuff to talk about, so stay tuned if you're interested. But anyways, uh, here I went to my Mew as a forwarder, there was a double switch, he switched into his Heracross, but now he goes in the, goes with the Toxic. Uh, he was hoping to uh, Toxic my uh, Deoxys defense, but I go into Mew, so I Toxic him back with Synchronize. Because, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And now I just go with the Taunt, because I figured, you know, I'm just gonna stay in as a forwarder if he wants to do some sort of other shenanigans. Uh, you know, I get the Taunt on him, but uh, he switches into his uh, Ferrocid, I get the Taunt on him, him which is great. So, uh, knowing that he's taunted, he can't really do anything besides uh, Gyro Ball or Power Whip. I'm not even sure if he gets a uh, Power Whip, but he goes with the Gyro Ball, does nothing to my Brave Nature Victini. And uh, I know he's not gonna stay in to take a uh, uh, We Create, so I go with the U turn. He goes into his uh, Suicune, who is most likely Crocoon, so I couldn't have done much, much to it anyways. Uh, so I U turn out, I uh, go into my uh, Lilikant. Who was who did pretty great in the, in this match? So um, uh, yeah, I go to Melee again and uh, I force him out. Obviously, he can't really stay in. I set up a qu Quiver Dance or Butterfly Dance on the switch. He goes into his Snorlax, and uh, Snorlax is a poke who really likes to sleep. So I'm gonna put him to sleep. And it's kind of funny that in fifth gen generation there's the sleep animation that pokes put them put their uh, eyes to sleep but uh, you know Snorlax are eyes shut, already shut so it doesn't really do anything to Snorlax but uh, yeah anyways uh, I'm gonna set up another uh, uh, butterfly dance because I know that I need it in order to take down the Snorlax because uh, you know I know Snorlax better than anyone uh, Snorlax is a great special wall and uh, now after plus two I go with the pedal dance and it looks to be a uh, even off the le left there was a solid 2 hit KO, which is nice, and he's still sleeping because he's a Snorlax. And if you didn't know, Pedal Dance got boosted in Gen 5, and it's as powerful as Outrage, 120 base power. And here he goes into his Heracross, thinking I'm locked into Pedal Dance, I was gonna say Outrage. But no, uh, I didn't get the 3 turn uh, Pedal Dance Outrage, and I KO him with a... Uh, it empower fire, and the thing is, this guy has own tempo, which prevents confusion. That is why I didn't get confused, and that was a really big thing for me, because uh, I got the surprise KO on the Heracross, which was great. And now he goes into his, um, whatchamacallit, Dusknoir, and uh, I, I'm just gonna put him to sleep, of course, because I was kind of skeptical if I can take him out with a plus two pedal dance, because, uh, you know, Dusknoir is a really powerful poke. But uh, here he wakes up, goes with the Shadow Sneak, gets a crit, with, which kinda sucks, but uh, not really. I take him out in one shot, surprisingly. Plus two was enough, because he's most likely physically defensive completely, yeah. And uh, now he goes into his fer uh, Seed, and uh, I'm locked in now, so obviously I, I have to go with the Petal Dance, and uh, Petal Dance actually activates the Iron Bobs, even though it's a pe special move, I didn't know that. And he's gonna go with the Gyro Ball, gets a crit, not sure if it mattered because I had plus two speed, so that move was Gyro Ball was really powerful. And now I go into my Victini, he protects as I set up my Trick Room, which is great. And uh, he's gonna set up his lead seed, which kinda sucks. And uh, I'm just gonna go with the uh, save we create uh, just to uh, 
take the ferro seed out and uh, down he goes which is great and good news for me uh, but uh, yeah okay iron barbs and life orb and now go so he goes into his suicune god damn his name is all fucked up hopefully that doesn't get too annoying but I know that I can't one shot him with a recreate all uh, fusion bolts so I u-turn out again and uh, I go into my uh, Deoxys defense because uh, he's most likely a Crocoon and he's just gonna go with the safe surf here because I have the minus defense drop so he is really looking out for a chance to take him take me out but uh, he's gonna set up some calm mines uh, at this point I'm pretty sure he's a Crocoon with a rest calm mind and uh, yeah, sleep talk and surf as the only attack. So I'm gonna toxic him first, just to get that uh, toxic racking up there. And he's gonna try to set up on me, and possibly looking out to go with the rest later on. Uh, and uh, so he thought, but uh, I do carry taunt on my uh, Deoxys, so I get the taunt on him, which is great. And I think the trick room is going to wear out now, so the next turn I'm going to be faster than him. Yep, Twisted Dimensions return to normal. So I am actually going to set up a Cosmic Power. This is kind of a, a variation of the uh, Agility set. I decided to replace the Agility on the Axis with a, with a Cosmic Power to get that extra bulk which uh, the Axis kind of needs. It's not really that bulky, I guess that's the reason why it's underused too. The Axis defense is probably gonna move up, but still you know, it, it never really... <laughs> I've used it for a while, but it never really does anything. I should probably use the spike set, because, uh, you know, I think that's the best thing that uh, Deoxys can do. Because, yeah, otherwise it doesn't really achieve much, at least when I've used it. But, uh, anyways, uh, uh, I recover, he's gonna surf, I got... I think I have two cosmic powers here. So uh, he doesn't really do much, and I think Toxic, yes, it does take him out this turn finally. That's what, that was a little bit of a mini stall war, war uh, right there. And now his last guy is uh, the <laughs> cured him, and he's gonna go with the Blizzard. But uh, this is the reason why you don't run Blizzard because it tends to miss, and uh, it's a kind of a risky move. Uh, but in this case, even though if he would have had Ice Beam, it wouldn't have mattered. But uh, I get a Toxic on him, and uh, I just decide to death water my Mew here, just so gonna, I can uh, finish the game faster. So Mew goes down, and I'm gonna send out my uh, cute little Chinchino, and Chinchino is going to tail slap the badass dragon, and uh, down he goes, and once again, cured him, didn't do really anything in this match. That's why he's underused. So he's probably gonna move up to BL sometime, but uh, you know, cure him sucks. As you guys know. <laughs> so that was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, now I got some uh, random update things I want to talk about. But uh, if you don't care, and if you just want to see more battles, uh, go watch my latest Pokemon Speed upload, which, uh, which I talked about in the beginning of this match. If you haven't seen that, yeah, go watch it. Link is in the description. But uh, yeah, uh, I gotta say thanks a lot for the feedback uh, in that uh, talking Poke Pokemon. Uh, Episode uh, one, I guess. I guess I could do more. A lot of people suggested uh, that uh, I should do an episode uh, with uh, Blaze again, and I think I could do that sometime. But you know, I kind of thought that that would be kind of like a one-time thing, so I haven't really thought about doing more. But uh, you know, you guys liked it, and uh, I asked your guys' opinions, and uh, you really liked it. I got it got like a 600 likes on the first day, and now it has like a. Uh, 10,000 views or something close to that so absolutely crazy and I it got like to top 20 I think it's still on the top 20 list of top favorite and top rated videos of the uh, day in the comedy section and uh, if you still want to help out uh, you know go like it and uh, favorite it if you really really like it because it helps out a lot and it's it's doing great on the list so wow absolutely crazy to see a Pokemon video there but uh, I'm thinking about doing more, uh, although I'm not sure when, but uh, in the future sometime I will I will do more. Uh, I guess that will be the Blaziken episode. That's what uh, you guys really wanted to see. 
and I also think that that could be really fun. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for the feedback, and also I'm thinking about doing a live narration. Oh well, um, <clears throat> I have actually done already one live narration, which I'm thinking about uh, uploading next Saturday. So. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, if you have uh, watched uh, Wild Chase, he has done uh, quite a few of uh, live narrations, and they are they are quite interesting uh, change to uh, regular battles. You know, you get to see the person in this case me doing my predictions and stuff live, which is gonna be uh, well. I, in my opinion, that was a pretty interesting match that I had. But uh, yeah, tell me if you would like to see that. I'm thinking, like I said. I'm gonna post it on Saturday, and then most likely I'm thinking I could post the short version as a bonus match uh, on Sunday. So tell me what you guys think. Of course, it's gonna be webcam uh, quality, but uh, and uh, my webcam, I don't know it's, if it's the, you know, it doesn't really have the best quality. Actually, there was a little bit of audio corruption in the middle of the match. It's a half an hour battle, obviously, because it's live. And I think there was at least at one point, I, I haven't checked the whole match because I can't be bothered to listen to myself talking for half an hour, for God's sake. But, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a, 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 a one part that I watched, there was a bit of, bit of a audio corruption for, for like uh, 30 seconds. But, you know, in a half an hour match, I, I don't think that that's a big deal. But it's going to be uh, <laughs> funny at least. But, you know, tell me what you think. You know, it's webcam quality, but uh, at least I think my quality is as good as uh, Xerxes's. So, um, it should be fine. And people have be have been seeing me uh, live streaming and nobody has complained. So, it's it's decent quality. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, I will most likely post that uh, on a Saturday. Uh, just to uh, see how that would work out. And uh, yeah, I guess I've rambled for... Far enough now, I think I probably should have done like an update video or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, that will be all. So tell me what you guys think and uh, I will see you guys uh, next time. Spade is out. Peace.